user guides. Your app is easy to use, right? You might even consider it self-explanatory, but you've been working with it, working on it, and using it constantly for the past several months. Your users might need a little more support, and that support begins with a great user guide and help mechanism. Your user guide indicates your professionalism. It shows that you understand your audience's diversity and you're willing to meet their information needs, even if those needs are different from yours. Your user guide is your user's first line of support. Between a user guide and a decent online help section, you can head off many support concerns before they even become issues. Good user support helps your users get your app and dig in beyond its general functionality. Bottom line, even if your app is simple to use, some users will need assistance. One important secret about good user guides and support, they help users help one another if they're done well. If your guides are well designed and well maintained, your users will support you as they support one another. In the process, they'll create a community around their shared interest in your app. Your user guide is a great and totally legitimate piece of subtle branding for your application. A few keys to a great user guide. Provide an overview. Give your users a quick, simple introduction to what your app does, how it works, and if possible, some spice beyond what they might have been expecting. It's important to fulfill, and if you can do it, exceed the felt needs or wants your users brought to your app in the first place. Explain the interface. What will users see when they open the app? Where should they begin? What settings or options will they encounter? Specifically, what's on the menu bar? The title bar? And what hardware or device elements should they know about? Buttons, for example. Explain your navigation. How will users move through your app? What's the screen flow? What files or folders will they need? And how do they find them? Your app's easy to use, right? Emphasize that ease of use. Point out any folders, any files, any information location, any subtleties that they may need to have the first time they use your app. Outline your terminology. If your app uses any unique or ambiguous terms, be sure to identify them. If there's any doubt about what you mean by a particular term, assume your user will need clarification. Outline special operations. Anything your users can do to enhance or expand the experience, be sure to let them know about it in the user guide. If they can alter the interface or create new items or engage secret features, give them a heads up in the user guide. Updates. If it's not done automatically, be sure to let your users know how to get updates. Show them the update location, frequency they can expect updates, and how to check their version. If it is done automatically, or if you have an optional auto-update feature, tell them about that too, and be sure they know how to turn on or how to turn off auto-updates. In terms of formatting, your user guide may be formatted for download, say as a PDF, it may be a physical document you can hand out or send, or if you're sure your users will have access, you might want to use a video user guide. The key is to make sure your user guide is clear and complete. Use simple language and anywhere you can provide visual illustrations. The examples below are also linked inside the course.